So, welcome to yet another demonstration of the Room Editor app. And this will be the very first time it is running in Revit 2017. This is also the first application I migrated to Revit 2017. That was extremely easy. I simply opened the project file in Visual Studio 2015. Until now, it had always been living in Visual Studio 2012. So I open it in Visual Studio 2015 and update the .NET Framework version from 4.5 to 4.5.2. So if I look here at the properties and you see application, it says .NET Framework 4.5.2. And that was all I did. No further changes necessary, not a single line of source code. There are some warning messages in here. This method is obsolete, so we have, we're still making use of deprecated Revit API functionality, and I will fix that in a moment. But first of all, let's look at this application running in Revit 2017. So I started up Revit by clicking Debug Run, and it loads a very simple project with a couple of rooms that I want to upload to the room editor. So I can click Upload Rooms and I'll just select this very simple room with a very simple family instance in it, a desk. I'll click Finish. You can see a Windows preview. I create this on the fly to just show what exact geometry I'm uploading to the cloud database. I'm displaying the database sequence number and from this point onwards, this is a database marker, I keep track of changes. Now I can go to the database, refresh that, and I see the current state of the BIM model. I can go edit this, uh, the location of the furniture instance. I can rotate it. I can save that back to the cloud database, and I can update these changes in the BIM model and you can see that the new desk location here is immediately reflected. The more exciting way of using this is to subscribe to the changes. In that case I'm managing an external event. The external event is polling the database for modifications every 100 milliseconds or so. And now if I go back to the database, I can click refresh again, but nothing changed, um, and edit the location again, rotate it in the other direction, and say save, you can see that the BIM is immediately, automatically updated. So everything is working fine in Revit 2017. This is my first add-in migration to the new platform. And the next thing I want to do is fix these obsolete Revit API usage warnings. So I hope you like this and um, look forward to hearing what you do with it. Have fun. Bye bye.